get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, Asan. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Nice loop of punch. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker. And once again, that skill is on the split. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You could really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. I mean, look at the bit kick in this fight. Goes to the body there. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Really good body kick. Oh, another massive kick. Defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, the left... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big elbow. You got to check these low leg kicks. 
big kick land. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Join the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Asa. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah. way.